Hello everyone, welcome back and welcome new viewers to some more Stormworks. Uh, a lot of you have asked me how I build my submarine engine or my so-called new space engine. Uh, let's let's jump in the workbench and I'll show you what's uh, what it's all about. All right, let's see. First things first, let's go ahead and get ourselves an engine built here. Uh, so we're gonna go to our modular engine stuff. We're just gonna whip one up real quick. Uh, let's see, let's make ourselves, uh, sure, we'll do eight cylinders here. There we go, we've got eight. Uh, let's go ahead and let's grab ourselves, let's see, all the things that we need. Uh, we're gonna need a clutch. There we go, we're gonna need our drive belt here. Uh, we're gonna need a starter. And put that like so. Actually, I think that's not how we want to do this. Let's do our fluid pump first. There we go. Uh, and let's do our radiator. It's always easier to do the radiator stuff first. I want it on top like that. We do want to make it nice and slim, don't we? It's got to fit, right? Uh, so let's do this with some pipe. All right, so we're just going to pipe this the way it needs to go. I think we can use all elbows here. Nice. Okay. And we'll finish it like so. All right, now we have our coolant. Let's go ahead and get a starter. Let's go back to our modular engine pieces. We'll do a starter right there. And I think we should be good there. All right, let's connect the two sides up. Uh, so we'll do some uh, pieces here. A couple manifolds. And we'll do a straight piece like so. Call that done. Now we're going to need, let's see, we've got coolant. Uh, we don't have anything else. We got our RPS out. So we're going to need air, fuel, air and fuel, and exhaust. Uh, so let's see. Let's get our exhaust in here. We will do exhaust like right there, maybe, is what I'm thinking. Because uh, we also have to get air in here as well. This is where it gets a little tricky. All right. So we'll get our air. Our air can go in here. And we need to get from our exhaust to our air port. Uh, and that's how this works. We're going to use our catalytic converters. And a while back, they changed these so that they don't just get rid of smoke, but they actually produce air, uh, which is really weird when you think about it. But uh, it's what they do. Um, let's make sure we're doing exhaust out, exhaust out, exhaust out. Uh, let's grab one of our pipes here. Come on, grab a pipe. We'll loop back around. We'll do some more like so. And actually, our air cannot go there. Uh, so we'll just do that in just a second. Uh, we'll keep doing this back around one, two, three, come back up. How do I want to do this? Hmm. I think what I could do is we can get a manifold. Uh, let's go for a straight piece. We'll do like that. Then we'll get our air and we can go like that. But we also need to do something different with this. Hmm. I'm not giving myself a whole lot of room here. Um, I need to come off of this again. So what if we do this? Hang on. Let's go for another manifold piece. What if we do that? Then we can do this. Okay, yep. And then we can do this. All right, this is what we needed to do. Now I need to go back to my pipe pieces. We're gonna do that. Uh, we're gonna come off of this with another T piece because I forgot that we need to actually have air coming in initially. Uh, and then that also is causing a problem right here with our clutch. So this needs to turn. So we'll just do it like that. That should be a little easier. On here, we're gonna get ourselves a valve. And we want the flow valve and let's see, let's paint this up so we can actually see it. There we go. Orange showing that it's going in. Let's get ourselves an air port here. Uh, we'll just grab the air filter, slap that on top. Now, when the new update comes out and we will be able to store oxygen in tanks, uh, what we're going to need to do is actually replace this with a tank, uh, maybe even two tanks here, something like that, just to have initial oxygen to into the system. Um, these things will not crank up just off of exhaust alone. You're going to need some sort of oxygen in the system or air in the system to be able to crank up initially. Uh, so that's the purpose of the filter here. Uh, that allows us to get some air into the system on initial spawn. And then from there, it can start running off of exhaust. Uh, so what we're going to do, we're going to off of here. Uh, let's see, let's grab another pipe. We're going to go back to our modular engine pieces. We're going to grab the fuel manifold here. We're gonna slap that down right there, and then we're just gonna put a block right underneath that so it's connected to something. And now what this is gonna do is delete any unused uh, air exhaust things that we don't need. Actually, it's gonna delete the exhaust, and I think the air is gonna be pulled through into the engine. I think that's how this works. Uh, now from here, we can actually come off and do our RPS like so. Uh, what else are we missing? We're actually missing fuel, so we can come right off of there as well, just like that. And we can grab our tanks. 
How many of these can we get in here? A couple. Awesome. Just enough to get this mission running here. Uh, so we're going to need a couple more pipes here. So actually, let's do this. Let's go for a gearbox since we don't need to waste money. We'll take that back towards the engine. We'll get ourselves another pipe. Uh, this time we'll just do a cross piece like so. And then we'll get our generators and we can slap these on like so. And there we go. Uh, just for the sake of this test, I think what we'll do is we'll uh, we'll move this up. We'll move this up by one. There we go. We'll paste it. And then we'll get a valve in here. And that way you guys can see that this actually does work. Okay, so that's open. Let's merge this to that. Um, and you could probably make this a little bit more compact than I have. Um, you could probably fold this over and bring the air this way a little bit or across the top of the radiator. But uh, for the sake of this, that's what we're doing. We're just going to kind of see how this works. Uh, let me grab, let's see, double check, air, fuel, coolant, exhaust, RPS. All right, let me grab a microcontroller real quick and then uh, we'll get this thing hooked up. All right, got my microcontroller. Let's see, we'll just stick that somewhere underneath here. Let's hook this up. Uh, ooh, you know what? We need a battery. Let's put our battery in here somewhere. Is there a nice little spot that we can put it? Uh, no. Okay, uh, so we'll just go here. Oh, we'll just go right. I saw it, it was blue for a second. There we go. All right, now we have power. So we'll hook up all this power, power. Come on, power. There we go, power. Let's get a throttle and a toggle. All right, now let's hook this thing up. Power to those. We need, ooh, okay, let's let's start with our throttle here. Throttle goes to throttle. RPS to RPS. Air goes to air. Fuel goes to fuel. Generator clutch doesn't go to anything because we are doing this a little different. This is just gonna be a straight generator. Clutch to clutch. Battery charge to, where is it? Battery charge. Don't think we need that because we're not using the generator clutch. We're going to hook up everything just because that goes to there. And the starters goes to starters. This is also going to turn on our fan and we should be good there. We don't need that. And we need our composite to read. This is an eight cylinder. So let's go ahead and change that for the math. There we go. And I think everything else should be good. Uh, let's try and crank this up. All right. Awesome. It fell over. Try again. Stay still. Cool. All right, let's get this thing a crank. All right, we are cranked up, producing a little bit of power. I didn't change the gear ratio because uh, that's something you guys can do based on what you need. Uh, but let's go ahead and uh, let's kill this air and the engine should still run here. Yeah, we're no longer, there's no longer any flow here. We've got maybe a little bit of air left in our system from that. But I think at this point we are already done and we're using exhaust. Uh, so there you go. That is technically a submarine engine. Uh, we're going to call this a submarine slash space engine now because uh, if we need power in space, I'm, I'm definitely taking one of these. I've already got one of these in my uh, my spaceship and we'll just be able to turn this on and run it off of any little bit of pr compressed oxygen that we have stored in some cylinders or some tanks, uh, which is really cool. Um, so yeah, guys, I hope this helps you out. I hope this is uh, what you were asking for when you guys were asking about submarine engines. Uh, I hope this helps you in your builds in the future. I hope you build some really cool spaceships. I hope you build some really cool submarines with this. Uh, and let me know. Join the Discord and show me what you've done with this. Show me your submarines. Show me your spaceships, guys. Uh, I'd really love to see it. Uh, so, yeah. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I appreciate you 100%. If you are enjoying this tutorial series, make sure you throw a like on this video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And, yeah, guys, if you if you ask for it, I'll uh, I'll, tr I'll try and make a tutorial for it uh, as, as long as enough people are wanting it. So, yeah. See you in the next one.